becoming a sinner corrupts our the whole uh, our whole being uh, in 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 a deep sense, drawing us to live for ourselves rather than for our Creator that we were made for. And that, that has affected our minds so that our minds are blinded by a self-orientation. It's also affected our emotions so that our emotions are primed to be self-oriented rather than God-oriented. So uh, when, we, when we think about the emotions, we recognize that they've been corrupted, that they've been damaged by this self-serving bias. And uh, a lot of a lot of Christians uh, conclu have concluded. Uh, it's just a it's it's a tendency in the Christian community to conclude from that that therefore we need to stay away from our emotions. But uh, of course, when you see uh, how important emotions are in the life of Christ and how they, thoroughly they saturate the narratives in Scripture and the Book of Psalms is loaded with different kinds of emotions, we realize that no, they're important. To God's agenda, and uh, and part of what salvation is intended by God to be then is that uh, God wants to save our uh, our emotion system. Our uh, He wants to redeem our emotions so that they they become increasingly freed from a self oriented bias and increasingly shaped by a God oriented uh, a God orientation a God centered orientation. So, so I think an important part of Christian salvation is learning about God and knowing God better. But it's also about loving God. It's about in, uh, having an emotion system that, that um, values what God is and what God values and uh, gets angry in ways that correspond to God's anger, that is sad. Uh, in a way that corresponds to God's value system, that is compassionate when we see, say, uh, uh, people who are hurting or struggling or in poverty or whatever, so that our emotions increasingly, re uh, as, as they get more and more redeemed, our emotions increasingly reflect the heart of God.